My name is Esteban Anastasio. I am a professional guitarist and educator. So I did take some classical guitar lessons because um, that's what my father wanted me to do at the time. And I completely hated it because um, no one could play what I wanted to play. I didn't want to play that stuff. So I taught myself how to play for several years. And um, and within two years, I was playing like note for note Metallica and Van Halen and Satriani. And I got a chance. Uh, the short story is I got a chance to go to college. Um kind of through a back door, but I got an opportunity to go to college and the college I went to just happened to be the largest music school <laughs> on planet earth. Ended up studying with the head of the guitar department there for three years. Um, I was the first undergraduate student to study with him and he handpicked me. Um, I got a degree in music. And so I studied with a guy named Ernesto Batetti and I taught there for a little bit, you know, I taught some classes there as well, you know, and I had no idea what I was doing. And then I got a degree, a uh, master's degree at Georgia State University, um, all in classical guitar, ironically enough. While I was there, I started studying flamenco, other styles of music, played Greek music, um, and ended up being like a graduate assistant to the Center of Audio Recording Arts at Georgia State University. Got my degree from there in classical guitar performance, and I ended up being the head of the guitar department there for a year. And so since then, I've, I've actually studied at, uh, I've actually um, taught at four different universities. And that whole lifestyle, as great as it was, you know, Professor Anastasio, all that kind of stuff, it did not work both financially or there was just a lot of like oh this is what it's really like kind of thing it, it wasn't sustainable basically mm -hmm. conversations with students and mindset is such a big part of it you know people think that it's impossible and all i was told is to not to do it you know from day one. Oh, you want to play guitar you can't do that <laughs> you're going to study music well what are you going to do with your life i was like the idea is to actually play music right well i originally joined as a member because i was curious and I show, I did show up. I came to the meetings, <laughs> ask questions, you know, because I, I do understand that mindset is a big part of it. Uh, being an artist, you know, you want to be an artist. You want to create art. And it, it's very time consuming. And then you got to figure out what that means. And so that that's a whole part of it. Then, And then if you have that burning whatever desire to kind of do it on your own or make your own thing, there are a lot of steps. And I've done a lot of training with people. I've done the Small Business Development Center. I've joined a lot of programs. And there's a hard, you know, learning process. And then it's step by step. And then you got to figure out how to do all the things and the strategies versus the tactics. And then you got to get the right tools to do the thing that does a thing to get you the thing. And it's like, it's a lot of work just to get to the point where you have someone contact you and say, hey, I, I might be interested in working with you. And then you got to sell them. The training and like doing it on my own, um, it, it's very difficult, you know, and, yeah. you know, reading about things is not actually doing things, watching videos about things. I mean, the actual doing of it is very, very challenging. So what really kind of got me interested was, okay, you know, um, I just want to be part of a community where I can actually interact and talk with people. And you had the whole, what, what I really liked was you had the, the mindset Mondays and then you got like the tech Tuesdays up and I could just talk about the stuff. And, and I was like, well, okay, that looks really appealing to me. And then as we got started, I mean, you, you actually spent a lot of time with me at first and I was like, oh, this is more than I expected. I thought I was just going to show up, watch a lecture. And then I'm off on my own because I mean, it was like 27 bucks, you know, I was like, I didn't <laughs> expect that much, you know, and <laughs> And like, that's been like one of my biggest challenges in the whole thing is tracking it, you know, getting the money and getting the resources, getting the students, tracking them, following up, making sure they pay on time and getting all those systems in place. And, but I used to just do it on spreadsheets and I used to handwrite everything and like getting, past, like, I, I remember getting past like 17, 18 students. It was mind numbing because yeah. I had to contact them. Like it was all manual. I had to do everything like one at a time and it just didn't work. And then, you know, it started reading, getting in the platforms, learn how to use stuff to automate certain processes. So that's what I was hoping to get more from this is, okay, I had, there's, all the, there's that financial element, there's the tech element, there's the mindset element. And so that that's what really um, got me interested initially. Initial hesitation was like, I, I'm not really sure what this is, right? Yeah, yeah. Because it, it looks like there's a lot of stuff. And like I said, I've, I've looked into other programs and usually it's like, okay, join for $27. You watch these videos and then there's a pitch. 
And then like, oh, to get actual, oh, you want some help? Well, now it's like $300 a month. Oh, you want to actually talk to somebody? Well, now it's like $5,000. And so my initial hesitation was like, where's, where is the pitch? That was my initial hesitation. As far as the membership, I was just kind of like curious. And it was like, okay, that that's very reasonable for what they're potentially offering. The other hesitation is I, I didn't understand the whole MLM thing. And I, I just, you know, and so that was a big red flag because it didn't, it didn't really make any sense. I was like, okay, am I supposed to get involved with this thing and then become a salesperson for that? And so we got through that and that's not the case. For anyone. <laughs> so there was like, <clears throat> for me, that was hesitation because I was like, okay, that, that seems a little, it's interesting because it goes, it's borderline. That's a little too good to be true. Yeah. Like I'm going to go buy a bunch of cleaning products that I'm going to use anyway. And now I don't have to pay for whatever platform yeah. that I'm using now. Right. Like I have to pay for both of those currently. Right. I have to find my stack of platform tools to make my online stuff run smoothly. And then I got to buy. <laughs> so now I just buy that stuff and I, I you know, I'm raindrop artist. Yeah, level. Yeah. Once I figured all that out, I still was thinking, it's like, okay, th these are the, the tools that they're using. How is it going to integrate? And can I get like, can I get the community? Can I have the whatever Facebook look on my website or something like that? <clears throat> and uh, so there was some confusion there. Right. And yeah. so we worked all that out, which is great. And then you're like, oh, we'll just, we'll make your funnel. We'll build it. And I was like, okay, you know, and I was like, well, that's even, that's way more better. So now it, it's the, and then we talked about it more. And then like the, the, you explained to me the whole community aspect much deeper and understanding that. So yeah, that, that I found to be very appealing. And then the fact that, oh, well, okay. Yeah. I, now I just have to focus more on the content. Yeah. Well, literally, I mean, focus mostly on the content, make sure that I have the content provide it and then you just put it online I, I think the hesitation at first for me was like i didn't understand that it was a done for you and done with you versus a completely diy solution right, where you're right. just getting a bunch of tools which is great because even then it's kind of worth it but yeah the minimum i found is like three thousand dollars and a lot of those courses are literally just do it yourself watch the videos and then there's like a group that you can like, you can go once a month and you can talk to people and they say that's kind of like done with you, but it's literally not doing it with you. It's just the sense of uh, accountability. You know, it's like yeah. going to a, a meeting and just talking about stuff. I smell good. You know, all my stuff's clean, <laughs> other stuff. I don't even know what it does, but it's, uh, right. it's stuff that I would just have anyway. Right. So, right. I mean, it's, right. that is very appealing. And the other thing I guess I could mention is that I, I'm in, in a way, I'm fairly far along. Like, I already know what I want to do. I already kind of have a vision. Well, I have a vision. It might be a little fuzzy sometimes, right? <laughs> because, I mean, my, my bigger vision is to be more of a, you know, freelance producer, performer versus educator. And I don't think about that stuff enough because I'm in that space where I'm trying to just figure out how to make consistent and somewhat passive income online with courses. So I'm hyper focused on education. I'm not even really like my creative brain's not that engaged the way that I want it to be. Mm -hmm. And I understand that Raindrop is in full support of that. Your higher yes. vision, your your real vision versus like your survival vision, which a lot of people right. don't go past certain things because they can't see past that first level. You get caught in this, I get caught in this personal trap of the things I think I have to do because like, you know, I just, I, I just want the gig or I, I need the income and it ends up being way more work than it should have been. And then it's really not worth it because everyone's like, oh, you made that for a gig. I was like, yeah, but that doesn't count the drive time and all that kind of stuff. And people are like, oh, you do that for that. Why would you do that? And I was like, well, <laughs> if I actually add everything up, I mean, what I'm making per hour gigging is not what you think it is people look at my rate and they're like oh wow that's that's great and i was like yeah but you know but yeah I, I got websites i got this and that i got all this other stuff all this back-end things that i'm always doing i'm always working and i want to get rid of that stuff <laughs> right that's yeah, the whole yeah, point yeah. and yeah it's great that i have it but it takes work to get there i mean you have to create it first right so there's that creative process and that creation process that is is unpaid yeah. It, it's yeah. seemingly unpaid. It's like investing into your future. But if you only go like 90% in and never get you it never done, get a... well, there's that, that more creative brain <laughs> is being a little bit activated again. It's it's less awesome. dormant. So I can now, no, I, I actually regularly think about, okay, you know, I want to 
play. I want to go make some music, right? You know, yes, so I want to do be more creative and what I could actually potentially do. And I'm thinking about, like, I used to do this when I was younger. I think about, oh, this would be great if I did this kind of thing. Yeah. Like an art installation. That, that's another thing I'd love to do, right? You know, and get the technology and have it interactive and people come in and all that. And then I'll, I'll see something. I'll just have this idea. And then I'll just write it down and I'll just go with it for a while just to have it documented somewhere. Right. Yeah. 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 And yeah when I started after college and I started working like that part of my brain, it like shut down when I was actually actively employed. That that was the time where I was the least creative mm. and I performed like two, three times a year. Oh, wow. You know, we're now like that's two, three times a week. Like my whole idea of being a musician was it was gone I, I i was a school teacher that kind of thinking is is back prime it and like go out into the woods and like completely disassociate now it's just like oh yeah that's a awesome. cool idea i'm gonna write that down and have fun with it call it inspiration creation yeah. being yeah. creative and it's like going you know see an opportunity and going with it as opposed to being like oh i can't do that right now my initial goal was to get those get the 30 students so that i get the waiting list started right and, yeah. and yeah i'm right at that number it's not yeah, completely it. official yet. You know, it, it will probably be official on the next pay cycle. Uh, prior to that, I, yeah, I was like 10. Basically, I got 10 students in, in that time from when I first joined to and literally it's been it's been less than 30 days, I think. Just getting into action and then getting the content together and focusing more on just getting the actual substance as opposed to focusing on how am I actually going to make it work? What kind of, oh, But I have to do things <laughs> for me that's been a big thing like because I'm, I'm not really sure what i need to do next because i'm like okay i could maybe do this maybe do this and make it work maybe do this and then it's like well maybe i should do this software instead and then then, then i get caught up in the tools and the tactics where i would rather be working on the strategies and then when that's all worked out all that's left is literally you know pulling the weeds like you just got to go out and do it right and get yeah. it done and then you can move on to the next thing and then things start to naturally grow um which is already happening. And I know, oh, I can go back and be like, okay, I can I can look at the board. I can look at what we talked about. I see, I know what the vision is. It's clear. And then I see the next steps, basically. And then it's like, I know what I need to get done. Having, having a clear roadmap and path is 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 what obviously essential. It's easy to say, and it's like everyone who knows that, but it's like doing it is, is the hard thing. But so having that and then being able to work on it consistently with somebody and then having support and also having accountability. Well, I mean, that's kind of what we all need, right? The stuff that I did and I spent a lot of money on, I wasn't getting it. It was just yeah. like, people are just like, what, well, you know, just figure it out. Very little accountability, support and community, even though that's what they talk about, unless you do pay an astronomical <laughs> amount of money, which you could just go hire a personal coach. Those are the the biggest things I would say is, is that support, Yep. Have the, the the roadmap, you know, work on the roadmap with you and the accountability. Um, I would recommend, especially if they're they're serious. If you are serious and it's like you have that desire that you can't name, it's just like something that you just have to do, right? Because that's what it is. People are like, why, you know, I've had these conversations with people. It's like, why do you just keep doing stuff? I was like, because because <laughs> not doing it, get I get depressed if yeah, I don't it's, practice. It's... I, I, if I'm not playing, if I'm not active, if I'm, if I'm not doing these things that in my world creates whatever novelty for myself, life is dull. Yeah. Right. And that's just how, oh, you know, I guess that's the artist thing. Right. And a lot, yeah. there are people out there, I guess, that don't do that. I don't know. Worked up about like trying to do this, but they don't really know what they want to do. And they're having a hard time figuring things out, you know, and that's my, my whole porpoise thing, you know, I stole right. that right. the month senior I used to work with. Right. Yeah. I was like, that's a beautiful analogy. I was like, you need to figure that out. Right. You need yeah. to figure out. And it's like, well, that's why you talk, you know, that's why you would join. So they will help you figure that out. Mm -hmm. Raindrop that's will help you figure that out. And if you already know what that is, which is where I was, then they'll help you figure out how to, keep your porpoise alive and it's anyone good. should know that i mean if you are serious about it it's it's a work and it's yep. a lot of self-work it's a lot of like you have to meet yourself uh -huh. at every level right yep. and, and, uh -huh. and then like as you progress well you get to meet the rest of yourself at every level you want the accountability and you want the clarity then by all means do it just be prepared to do it if you don't play the guitar you're not going to get good at it that's you can talk about it all day long. It doesn't matter.
it's an active community, you know, of doing and being. That right there is a huge benefit. Yeah, that's just awesome. No, that you just got to show up. You know, you're. Uh, it's just like when I got a gig. I mean, I'm on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of procrastination, right? But if you're not actually doing something, nothing is going to happen. The biggest benefit that I see is the nurturing of that being mentality and that mindset is, is it, it's really hard to explain, I think, in a way that makes sense for people. And it is simple, but it's not easy. And with, with art in general, yeah. 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 We'll just be like, you know, they might try for one or two, three months and think it doesn't work because they're not actually doing it. You're going to get all the support you're looking for, accountability and the clarity you need. Because that's exactly what, and anyone that is in the entrepreneurial space needs to be offering some kind of contribution or, do, I mean, it doesn't work. Still, I mean, it's, I think in, in general, the artist is doing good. And so to be in a community of other people doing the same types of things and having that support, and as it grows, you're just going to get more support. 